Good evening, people. How are we? It's AGT from the COP TV down here again. For the, your viewing pleasure, for Don Robbie, we're here at Flatiron Square to watch an absolute belter in the round of 16, Belgium versus Portugal. I cannot wait for this one. I have to say, the, Bel the Portugal kit tonight is an absolute beauty. Ronaldo is wearing the long sleeve version of it in the last game, where, of course, he scored two goals. Will he show up tonight? It's really the battle of him and Kevin De Bruyne tonight, and I can't call it. Let me go and find some fans. I think I might have just spotted a couple, and one half of the couple is Belgium, and the other half is Portuguese. Let's have a look, but first. Nutella donuts, bang him. Let's go for a wonder. AGT back here at the Flat Iron Square from the COP TV, of course, but I'm here tonight for Don Robbie. And now look at this, we're here for Belgium versus Portugal. And I've only gone and found a couple in London, a couple no less, that support Belgium and Portugal. I've got Mike and Agostina. How are you both? Nice to meet you. We're good, we're good. Very good, thank you. Are you nervous or excited for tonight? Is this going to cause any arguments, whatever the score is at home? Excited about the result or excited about where I'm going to sleep tonight? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's the question. <laughs> exactly. We'll see. We'll see. Courtois, Old Vero, Vermaelen, Vertonghen. Quite old. I'm not going to lie. I mean, these guys are over 32 Kev. each. We just need Big Kev and Romelu. That's it. That's it. Big Kev, the you know. Duo, man. They're going to do it. Hey, listen. You're not wrong, bro. In midfield, Torgan, Hazard, Witzel, Tillemans, Munaya, uh, De Bruyne, Hazard and Lukaku. Strong. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. And we have the best goalkeeper in the world, so uh, should be okay. What's the score going to be tonight, guys? Uh, I said 2-1 before. I said 2-1. <laughs> Bell and ah. one Belgium. There you go. Differing views. We're going to be catching up with Mike and Augustina throughout the night. Good luck. Enjoy your feud. Thank you. And try not to have an argument before kickoff, yeah? <laughs> it's peace and love. Just before we get into the game, both teams have done the national anthem. There's a lot more Portugal fans here than Belgium. This is going to be a rowdy one. I can't even lie to you. The atmosphere is electric, as I always like to say here. But, like I said, a lot of noise coming from the Portugal fans. I'm going for 3 2 Portugal tonight. I'm going to go with 3 2. I'm, I'm expecting a belter. Hopefully, it lives up to it. So 3 2 Portugal. 2020. Ronaldo with his first shot on target off the game goes close. He's been diving around though, I can't lie. I'm not liking that at all. But yeah, quite even. 25 minutes gone. Across that, nah, no, keeper should save it. Keeper should save that. That's the million I'm with. The keeper should have saved that. It's almost in the middle of the net. Still a great strike. I'm not taking anything away. But that's Belgium 1, Portugal 0 just before half time. It's absolutely pissed it down here, by the way. Rain has broken into the TV. It turned the TV off shortly. The bar behind us has had to be closed because the rain is leaking through. There's a cut and a hole now in the, in the tent here. Rain is, I've never seen rain like that, have you? We're back here at half time to visit Mike and Augustina at this minute. Yeah. Look, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, bro, it's only half time, 45 minutes to go. 1 0, man, it's all that counts. At the moment, where are you sleeping tonight? I don't think in the same bed. 
as I said, it's 2 1, so we still have the half time to make two goals. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> a lot of tension, a lot of tension here. What a goal, though, from Togan Hazard. Should it have been saved, though? Should the keeper save that? I mean, the, the effect of the ball was just too much. It was just too much. No, Unstoppable. It was. It, it was a good goal. It was a good goal. The more Portugal fans. Hello, fellas and ladies, how are we? Uh, fine. <laughs> Not a good half, bro. Uh, good at all. We play well. 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 We're playing well. We play well. I think sec second half will be better for sure. What's the score at full time? Two yeah, we, we're gonna win. Yeah, probably two, 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 three goals. Yeah. I actually think three, two Portugal. Do you think that? Yeah. Don't forget you have Ronaldo, though. You know, I know. That's why I said three, two. Where is Bruno? Why is he not starting tonight? Uh, no idea. No idea. He's not. He's not playing well at all since the first game. I don't think he's. He's not. He's not having the best performance as he's having in United, so that's why we have to play defensive as well because we're losing the, the. I have to say, this is the most beautiful Portuguese shirt I think I've seen. You know the away shirt? Wow, it's beautiful. And the long sleeve as well. Wow. I've spoken to Belgium and Portugal fans. That's what they think. I'll tell you what I think. I think this has still got a lot of twists and turns in it, this one. Belgium 1-0 up now. But like he said, they've still got Ronaldo. I'm going for Portugal, big comeback in the second half. Really did twist and roll. And two minutes into the second half, he's off. 47 minutes in, he's off. Big, big, big loss now for Belgium. He's easily their best player. Uh, and now a big chance for Portugal to get back in this. Taken out Hazard on the floor, and that is a yellow card, which he has taken, which is probably the 10,000th yellow card of his career. This Don is 38, and has more. I think he's got more than 38 red cards. Someone might have to check that in the comments for me. I reckon Pepe, as a 38-year-old man, has got at least 40 red cards in his career. Hal Felix and Bruno Fernandes are on for Portugal. Haven't made any difference though so far. 13 minutes to go. It looks like my 3-2 Portugal bet is down the shitter. Point blank save there from Thibaut Courtois. The corner gets whipped in. And I think it was Diaz. Heads it straight at him from six yards. The ball comes back in from Pepe though. And i tell you what, Portugal with nine minutes to score. Ah, Jao Felix piles one over the bar. And yeah, eight minutes to go now. Looking like Belgium are through and Portugal are going to give up their hold on this trophy. Sergio Oliveira has just hit the post. But here they break. Hazard breaking. Belgium go up the other end. Still the free kick, free kick to Belgium, seven minutes to go, entertaining last bit this. Like I said, Zal Felix just misses a shot there with 40 seconds to go. As you can imagine, Quartal will waste as much time as he can to, to uh, wind down the last 40 seconds. But yeah, Belgium look like they've done it. My prediction was totally wrong. And there's a lot of unhappy Portuguese fans in here right now. And in 25 seconds, you'll hear them. Looking at his watch, it's a way by Bernier. Full time. There's the full time whistle. Still here at the Flatiron, it's finished. Belgium 1, 
Portugal nil. Andrea is here with me. Talk to me about that one. Not the result you were looking for and no longer the champions of Europe. But Mike, come here, Mike. Come here, Mike. There's a Belgian fan. Just before we come back to you, Andrea, describe, describe how you're feeling, Mike. Happy, happy. A bit lucky in the second half, though, but hey, sometimes you need luck, right? Of course, of course. What do you have to say to the Portugal fans here? Good game, good game. Really good game. Hey, look. Justo. It's justo. Fair. Very fair. Very fair. Thank you, Mike. See you in the next round, yeah? Take care. But Andrea, Ronaldo not there tonight. Yeah, it wasn't really, but it's fine. Another time. So it, it's just one game. It doesn't matter. Portugal is Portugal. You create so many chances, but the goals didn't come out. So I feel a bit stressed. pissed off. Yeah, a bit, a bit pissed off, but good luck for Belgium. See. And uh, hope they game true, because I really appreciate this uh, national team, Belgium. Very classy, very classy from you. Um, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Jax, thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. Yes, that is the match all over for another evening. We're under a bridge just to try and get some cover. It's absolutely teeming it down. I genuinely have never seen rain like it. And it was a very rainy and miserable night for Portugal as they crash out of Euro 2020. No longer the champions as Portugal go out. Belgium go through and they're now playing Italy in the quarterfinal. Belgium, Italy, what a game that's going to be. You can be sure to catch it here on the Don Robbie channel. We'll be covering every game as we head into the business end of the tournament. Now, for the match itself, uh, a wonder goal really from Torgan Hazard on the 42nd minute has separated these two teams. And apart from that, really, if you're looking at Portugal, lacklustre. They, of course, had one off the post. They had a header save from point blank range. But if you actually add up the chances, Ronaldo, Felix, Silva, they didn't have that many. And I really was surprised at Portugal. I had them to win this tournament, I'm not going to lie to you. I really think Portugal are going to be going home hugely disappointed not to at least put up a fight and retain their title. Um, it's been a great night, I can't lie down at the flat iron. Make sure you do get down here for any games if you can, the atmosphere is brilliant. Uh, but unfortunately all the Portugal fans, they run home as soon as that full time whistle went uh, in Seville it was tonight. So we have got some fan cams for you, uh, but not as many as we would have liked. As you can see it's absolutely horrible out here in London today, but hasn't stopped me from having a good time. Have you had a good one Harrison? Yeah? Rude, mate. I'll be having words after. But like I said, great match tonight. Great content still to come on the Don Robbie channel. I've been AGT from the COP TV. We'll see you next time. Get home safe.